the Red of us. RT84 dual band DMR HT today on Ham Radio 2.0. There we go. Uh, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time here to join us, please click on the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with all the videos that we post on this channel, everything to do with amateur radio. This is another DMR-HT, and I'm going to spare you guys the, um, <laughs> the unboxing. This is what the box looks like. It looks kind of like an Anytone box, really. But as you can see on the screen of the radio... It's very similar to an MD-2017 or the Retivus, Retivus. Some people say Retivus. I've always heard it pronounced Retivus. Honestly, if you were to go to China and ask them how to pronounce it, it would probably be something totally different. Like Waxon is actually pronounced O-Chang. Okay. Anyway, so Retivus is how I say it. RT-84. So internally, I suspect this radio is the same. Um... Yep. Menu. Okay. We're going to go through this one here in a second. But I suspect it's almost the same as the and it's as its cousin, the RT-82. And which the RT-82 is basically the same thing as a TYT MD-2017. The cool thing about those radios is that no matter what name is on the front, you can take your code plug from any of whatever other radios you have and program them into the other brand of radios because internally they're very, very similar. So um, so here's the box. Inside the box is, of course, a desk charger. Uh, there's one antenna. There is a programming cable that does not look like it has a chip in it. It looks like it's just a standard two-prong Kenwood cable on the end with a USB on the other end, and it also comes with an earpiece, the standard, standard two-prong Kenwood earpiece, and we have a Redivus user's manual for model AT, uh, RT84. Got quite a bit of pages in it. Looks like the whole thing's in English. Yep. Pages aren't numbered, but... Oh, well, yeah, they are. About 84 pages in this book, in this manual. So, um, let me start my screen cap software here, because I do have... The uh, CPS version 1.02 at the time of this recording. Open that up. I'm going to see if I can write the my MD-2017 code plug to it. I'm able to write my MD-2017. Honestly, the radio that I am carrying around most of the time right now is my Redivus RT-82 which GPS model, which is the same thing very, very, very similar. Pretty much is the same thing as an MD, TYT MD 2017 GPS model. So, um, I'll show you guys the menu on this radio here in a minute. Got this funky rubber flap on the side covering the ports, which is good. There we go. So this is what the software looks like when you first launch it. Um, very, very similar to the R Redivus RT82 software or MD2017 software, whichever one you are accustomed to. Haven't seen notice yet of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and just try to read from the radio just for the heck of it. Read from radio, okay. There we go. And it, on the screen there it says PC program mode, which you expect to see. Read data success. Uh, basic info. Like I said, if you are used to program, have you, if you've ever programmed a TYT or a Chinese version HT radio, then you've probably seen this before. All the TYTs look basically the same. Um, any tone is different. Uh, Alliance, Aliens, A I L U N C E which is actually owned by Redivus. That's a subsidiary of the Redivus company. Same company. They make the HD1, and that software looks a little bit different also. Uh, software from Kydera looks a little bit different. The Kydera software is really kind of weird. Um, but this stuff's pretty straightforward here. So this is what we're going to do. I am going to try and open 
my I got to go into my Google Drive and find my code, my latest code plug for my MD2017 modified. There's my 2017 modified about at the time of this recording. This was about three months ago. The latest one that I have is October of 2018. Now, let me make a side note here. I'm going to do a series on of videos on this channel upcoming for um, DMR code plug programming. They're probably all going to be short between like 5 and 10 minutes, but they're going to build on top of one another. Here's how you do this. Here's how you add to it. Here's how you add, add to this and this and this and this and this. And I'm basically going to build a DMR code plug for all of Texas, which I have about probably 85 or 90, ah, probably between 80 and 85% of it done already. They're just in, some of them are in my Anytone, some of them are in my TYT, some are in my Redivus, so it's uh, kind of scattered about. So I'm going to use my time in front of the camera to record it and put it all together so that I can use it myself, but so also that you guys can benefit from it. So stay tuned. But here's my MD2017. Um, 2018 1005, which that means October 5th of 2018. So I'm going to open that up. The model is wrong. Okay, so it's not going to do that. What I want to do... Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you can't, o you can't open that. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, let me see... I'm pretty sure that's the one that I use in my Redivus. I don't even think I have a Redivus. No, I don't. I don't have a Redivus in here. So I wonder... Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go in here. RT84. Now, we've already read this. This is already read. So let's save as. I'm just going to save it on my desktop here because I'm not sure I'm going to... This is a test. Um, no, I don't want to save that. RT84 underscore today's date is okay so you know how long I'll go I recorded this program now I saved it I'm gonna go into n0 GSG and go to open code plug file find my desktop and try to open it RT84 Three errors found. Okay, so this is what you expect to see when you're opening a code plug in the contact manager that the contact manager does not support. So, at the time of this recording, I'm not going to yeah, invalid channel from zone, digital contacts, and invalid channel index zero scan list. Um, doop, doop. I wonder if I can, yeah, errors are there. Structural import, let's just go to that. And go to here. It's probably not going to work. File. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna restart it just for the heck of it. And then I'm going to open the same code plug back up from the desktop. And general settings. It has. It di okay. I didn't have my radio name or ID. And does it have... No. Okay, so that's not going to work. Oh, it has my zones. Doesn't have my digital contacts. Doesn't have my channels. Okay, so not going to work. Too new of a design. Uh, this radio has not been added to the database for N0 GSG supported contacts yet. Probably get there. I'll email Tom. I'll ask him about it. A lot of the... Uh, no. A lot of the information you're going to see on my DMR code plug programming episodes will have to do with the N0 GSG contact manager. Let me show you guys the screen on this radio real quick. Okay, I wanted to go get my RT82, which is this radio right here. Um, it's one on the left. And again, this is the one that's very similar to the MD2017. It's got The MD2017's got blue accents where this one's got orange accents orange accents around the PTT and that kind of thing so you can see that the the uh, screen is very similar this one does have the RT84 the one on the right has a channel selector knob on the top and no trackball of course this one's got the trackball 
And then you can also select channels or zones up and down right here with the up and down arrows. This one's got up and down arrows on the left also. No, those, are pro those aren't up and down arrows. So those are program uh, P1 and P2 type buttons where you can program your s whatever you want to. There's programmable in the CPS. But they're about the same size. This one is a little bit thinner. Now, I've got an extended battery on this one. In fact, let me look at the battery because I wanted to look at it. The battery on the RT84 is a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. That's the one it comes with. Right there, the red of us. The extended battery for the RT82 is a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. That's one of the reasons I carry this one, is because it's one of the ones that actually has an extended battery for their radio, uh, similar to the AnyTone I just reviewed. So if we go into menu here, nope, not like that. i got to control it with the down arrow, this up and down arrow is right here on the face. Utilities, program radio, does not ask for a password, so that's cool. Let's go to Nope. So I'm pushing the up arrow to, to backspace, and I'm going to go confirm. Receive frequency saved. I'm going to go to transmit frequency and hit confirm again. Push the up arrow to backspace. Four. Confirmed. Channel name, I don't really care for the purposes of this demonstration. Oh, nope. D. I'll call it D. Confirm. Okay, this is a digital channel, so I can't go sit, I can't go program. Four, three, two, one, 16, one. These are all digital channels. Three, four, five. Okay, there's an analog. You see the A on the left? That's an analog channel, so I'm going to go here, and you'll see there's a lot less op options in the menu. Again, this is very similar. Oops, no. To the 2017 and RT82. Confirm. Transmit. Confirm. Channel name. I'm just going to call it. A and CTCSS. I'm going to put transmit CTC as 110.9. Confirm. Okay, channel A. Here we go. KC5 HWB test. That's one of the local. 440 repeaters here in Grapevine. So that's it. Programmable from the front panel, front analog channel anyway. So that is the Redivus RT84 dual band DMR radio, which of course does analog also like most of the other DMR radios today do. Special thanks to Redivus for allowing me to review this radio and sending me one up front when they were brand new. You can see how new it was because... <laughs> It doesn't take code plugs or anything else yet, and nothing else reads it. So, I uh, really like doing these uh, videos. If there's something you want me to review, if there's a DMR radio you want me to review that you haven't seen yet, first of all, check my channel. I've got almost 180 videos at the time of this recording, and I've done a lot of them on DMR radios, which I really, really like. Now, I'm branching out. 
I say I'm branching out. 2019, I'm going to focus on a lot more than just DMR. I've fo focused on DMR a lot in the past, and I like DMR. I really do. I love DMR. It's my favorite mode to date. But it's not the only mode out there, and it's not the only mode I like, and it's not the only new mode in amateur radio. So you're going to see a lot more upcoming on this channel besides DMR, but you're going to see some DMR menus also. So if there's something out there you want me to review that you haven't seen yet, hit me up, put in the comments below, and uh, we will see you next week. 73.